We are Sapienza Technology Team from Sapienza University of Rome. After gaining valuable experience last year, we decided to participate for the second time in the European Rover Challenge with a completely new rover, designed and built from scratch, CC8. The challenge we set for ourselves was to get over of the limitation of its predecessor, both in terms of navigation and robotic arm capabilities, while introducing new features such as drilling and drone integration. This provides us with an opportunity to refine our skills, test innovative technologies and acquire new expertise. The team for the on-site formula is composed of 40 members, divided into seven divisions. In addition to the leadership, there's the management division that takes care of logistics by organizing contacts with companies that can support the project by processing, for example. Moreover, it cares about promoting the project inside the university and beyond it. The goal was to create a rover with lightweight and sturdy material and a good maneuverability. The structure division was responsible for constructing the rover chassis, suspension system and drill, while a dedicated division developed the 6 degree of freedom robotic car. The electronic division acts as a bridge between the software and the hardware ones. Its member designed the boards that host the components related in safety circuit and the control of the motors. Uh, it also helps in selecting the hardware and sensors. The software division develops the software for the autonomous navigation of the rover using the computer vision and artificial intelligence algorithms. The division also develops the software for the control of the robotic arm and for the generation of its optimal trajectories. The chosen land side is the area northwest of Tyndall Crater because of its strategic position and safety. The zone contains information on the presence of hydrated materials accessible via drilling and drone scouting. The objective is to verify our hypothesis by analyzing regolith composition inside and outside the nearest accessible crater. To ensure a smooth navigation on the Mars Yard, the reliable rocker boogie system was once again chosen. This time with a differential bar placed beneath the chassis to provide a broader space for the robotic arms workspace and other scientific instruments as well. Additionally, by introducing steering wheels, we can increase maneuverability, allowing the rover to steer while moving forward and pivot in place without slipping. A signaling light on top of the rover indicates the status of operations using different colors and flashing patterns to indicate whether autonomous or manual operations are being performed. Additionally, it allows for signaling anomalous states visually. The main emergency button is located at the rear end of the rover. This easily accessible position enables the complete isolation of batteries from the rest of the electronics, 
instantly stopping the rover when pressed. The autonomous navigation system employs a stereo camera as the main sensor with which the different algorithms running on the onboard computer generate a 2D map used to navigate. The system is also able to detect tags on landmarks in the environment to improve the localization accuracy. The mapping, trajectory planning and localization modules have been tuned and improved during the course of the year using the experience of the previous competition and tests in an analogous environment. The design robotic arm features a compact structure that enables access to the terrain for the collection of surface samples. A custom end effector equipped with replaceable phalanges also provides a firm grip for performing the maintenance task operations. These operations can also be performed autonomously using predefined trajectories as well as through tag recognition.